Steve Spurrier made the comment a couple off seasons ago that uh, in the SEC, you can have the 20th top recruiting class in the country, and it doesn't look so good in the SEC because it's like 10th in the league. Same goes here with schedules. This is a difficult schedule for South Carolina, but relative to the rest of the SEC, middle of the pack. I've got them rated at number nine. Check out my other videos. Hear what I have to say about 10 through 14 as we go from bottom to top in the SEC rating the schedules one through 14. So the highlights for South Carolina, of course, they play in the weaker of the two divisions. Still a strong division. The SEC East, I would rank it right there with the Big Ten East. Uh, with the Pac-12 South probably behind the Pac-12 South. Uh, but the SEC West has established itself in the last five years as the better of the two divisions. And it's substantial at this point. We'll see how it plays out this season. Florida's got to come back. South Carolina's got to come back. But the West better than the East. 10 of 14 wins for the West, including last place Arkansas losing two games to the best two teams in the Eastern Division, Mizzou and Georgia. Okay, back to South Carolina with a ninth-rated uh, schedule here. The highlights out of conference, hey, credit the Gamecocks. They schedule tough. Uh, Jadavian Clowney and company a couple of years ago went to North Carolina, played a football game. The return date from the Tar Heels comes on September 3rd on a Thursday night. North Carolina, South Carolina. So that's one ACC matchup. Then, of course, the traditional rivalry against Clemson, that game going to be played in Columbia as well on November 28th. In between in the SEC, all the Eastern Division rivals, including the two games out of the West. And these are crucial because if you followed me breaking down these schedules, especially in the 14-team leagues, the Big Ten, the ACC, and the SEC, who do you play in the other division? You could draw, for example, Alabama and Auburn, or you could draw Mississippi State and Texas A&M, which is still tough, but not quite as tough as what's expected to be out of Alabama and Auburn, two of the top five or six teams in the country, expected to be. So for South Carolina, it's a tough date with LSU in Columbia, October 10th. Then two games later, three weeks later, at Texas A&M at Kyle Field. So pretty Tough slate there with LSU and Texas A&M. But because the West is better than the East, I could not, I tried, I could not find an Eastern Division schedule that was tougher than a Western Division schedule. Too much Kentucky, especially too much Vandy for that to happen. All right, again, it's the ninth best schedule in the SEC, the ninth most difficult. And credit the Gamecocks again. There's not just two power fives and two good power fives, especially Clemson, but there's a third tough game non-conference in taking on Central Florida. So really, the only light touch for South Carolina besides Vandy is the Citadel on November 21st. So there we have it for South Carolina. Would love to hear what you have to say about the Gamecocks slate right here on Mark Rogers TV.